this is on Amazon. I thrifted for four dollars at Goodwill, and it's thirty by forty. The exact same in this room is that I need for the class. I'm guessing it. Oh yeah. This is the fastest cashier I know. And he gets down. He don't play. So this is where I'm gonna be working. It's one thirty-five right now, but I'll keep wearing the homework. I just got home from my 8 p.m. class. It's currently 11.06 and I was working on this today. I'm not gonna lie, I do have a few concerns. Like this thing is due in three weeks while I have other assignments to do. And when I say other assignments, it's like more drawings, more designs, sculptures, cause I'm in 3D design right now as well. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all. Decided to resketch it with paint. And this is how it looks right now. I haven't finished doing the bubbles. Like I was sketching them and I was so confused on where they were. I was like counting like, <laughs> it's gonna be a mission. Oh, so I'm gonna be working on this tomorrow, hopefully. I'm gonna start with the eye. I've never painted something realistic that big. We'll see how it goes and I will try to update. It's 10. And I'm at the classroom. <laughs> I'm terrified to paint this. I'm gonna work on two. I don't have any more paint like that than that. It's 10.47 and I'm waiting now for the bus that it's four minutes away. This is where I'm gonna live next year. This is my major building. This is the housing. Major building, housing. You you get you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to live here. Anyway. Can the bus get here? I'll see y'all tomorrow then. It's so long because I'm actually like working on this every day. I said it and I'm doing it. I'm extra. Ew! I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> this is my first major class. I imagine when I have to take all paints and kids. I'm never getting out of this place. I feel like I just got out of a nine hour shift. Like my feet hurt so much. Ignore. Literally forgotten to record because I've been like speed running this thing and I literally got no time to do this, even though I wasted a lot of time today. I got a lot of work done yesterday, like that entire corner area I did it. And I just did the eye and I'm working on like the the middle of the face. And I edited the picture like horribly. So I've been guessing with some of them. And don't tell anybody, but I've been making the bubbles like bigger, so I have to paint less. <laughs> I really want to finish this area right here. Like at least map it out like I did here. So I just have to do the highlights. This is the weird area that I'm talking about. Like, there's like two different shadows from the part I edited and from the original picture. Also, shout out to my friend Leo for literally letting me borrow her studio. Long story short, this is supposed to be done tomorrow by 5 p.m. Yahoo! Everyone, it's the next day. I'm still at Leo's studio. I'm gonna try to speed run the shit out of this bubble wrap, this. And treat ourselves with, with a target trip. She's working on whatever that is. And I'll do like a time lapse to like motivate myself to not stop, so yeah. I would love to sit here and explain how I did the bubble wrap, but when I tell you guys that I literally have no idea how I managed. I actually think that painting the bubble wrap absorbed all the knowledge from my brain because it took so much effort. I had to think it through so much. And I literally kept getting lost while painting. Like just that one section took me around four hours just because I was trying to figure out how to place the bubbles in figure out the rows and the highlights and all that because that's how i was seeing everything like the highlights were what helped me the most because after i did the shape for the bubbles i would just look at the highlights and guide myself from there and like connect it with the other ones i ended up covering that entire section of like me trying to map the bubbles because it did not work out at all plus i had to repaint the mouth like around four times <laughs> 
Dude, and those big ass white highlights were like super satisfying opinion. We binge watched an entire season of 24 episodes. Bruh. This is season two. They changed the booty. This is due Monday now and it's Thursday today. And this is all I have left, which I can finish. But again, there's another painting. It's really mm -hmm. that blue thing that I haven't even started. To finish this Friday, so I can finish that in two days. That's my plan. I would record another time lapse because I think it was really satisfying to look at, but I don't have the paper reference at all, so that makes my fun. This tutorial is for the three people that commented asking me how to do it, so here we go. So first of all, you want to have your base color down and then sketch all the shapes that you see. The more organic your circles look, the better, trust me. Then with a darker shade than your undertone, you're going to start putting your shadows. And then the lighter values that go with the highlights. If I was getting lost and didn't really understand what I was doing, I would go with the harsh highlights. And somehow that way it was easier for me to see the darker values, like the shadows that were under those highlights. And to soften the edges, I would put a little bit of water, dry my brush, and then go around the highlights and its surroundings. And for some of the highlights, I had to grab a liner brush and give that one specific highlight a cast shadow. There's no specific order or instructions, honestly, just do it till it feels right for you. And yeah. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. and I just want to say that on November 11th of 2023, the painting was completed. Done. It's done, it's over, it's... I feel like the, like the... But I'm really happy that it's over. I'm really happy with how it looks. So I'll do the reveal tomorrow once I get my hands on it. Because the critique is on Monday. So I will also talk a little bit about that. But yeah. This painting was my whole life for like two weeks straight. And when I said it, it's like, I, I mean, I lived at the painting building just to paint that. Like, left late at night, had to eat horrible food from the like, cafeteria that I had to take a bus to. Like, it was an hour just to eat and come back. But I was like, it's over. In one side, I'm like, it's over, isn't it? And on the other side, I'm just like, sad. <laughs> Comment an airplane emoji if you like. At the end of the videos, I usually have my painting next to me, trying to recreate what I did, but I left it in the classroom because it's too big and where am I gonna put it here? But just in honor of that. <laughs> One thing I can say, I'm really thankful for this class because I learned a lot. Like actually, I got so much faster at painting, at creating my ideas, at like using color, mixing skin tones, paying attention to detail and like getting my own toys to it because not doing the bubbles exactly as the reference gives me so much freedom. It was so much fun to just like create the highlights with the shapes that I saw on my reference and like not silly little things like this. Like it's more me, it's more unique. And if you want to know what I wrote for it, you can check my Instagram. If you want to see some closer details, I want to put some pictures here. I started the painting October 25th and finished the November 11th. So it was 18 days in total, I think. I counted the days before, so I didn't have to do the math right now. And it took 65 hours in total.
my longest painting yet but the fastest i've ever painted that big that detailed in my entire life am i doing it again probably <laughs> and what about it? thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video